This is going to be a very short video. I was outside. I do not have a camera to go outside. The moon right now is so strong. The light is so strong you can see the, the humidity emanating off of it. The moon for myself rusts inside. Mechanically rusts. We must rust. The earth rusts. Rust runs with water. There must be water on the moon. The electrical current that goes through the moon, the bloody moon that you will see in my numbers is George. Martha and George is in the moon right now. Passing between, I'd like to know right now, okay, where is Pluto? Because Pluto plays a big role inside of 444. And in French, they say cat, cat, cat. Chat, cat, chet in Hebrew. If you want to look at chet in Hebrew, you look at this because the letters are H, E, and T, and C, which means creation heaven or the heavens of the earth because the moon is used as a transformer. It's one moon. That means it's in the middle. Mars moons would be at the end. Um, Pluto, okay, is nine. Having nine, and the nine card shows. Let me see if I can find the nine card right now. Can I find the nine card over here? So far, no. Here's the ace. Here's the five. I'm looking for the nine card, and I, not so far I haven't found it yet. I've went through. Here's the eight card. The eight card is not like the nine card. Here's the eight. Here is what would look as the nine card, but it is not the nine. Here is the nine card. Here is five, and here is five, okay? Here is eight. We have to put a dot in the center over here to make two, four, five, and then four on the outside. This is where we get, the nine card is an expression of birth, but where the nine lives is right here, this part over here. You see A, B, C? One level, two levels, okay? One level here, two levels here, three levels here, four levels here. Now, in order to show these levels, okay, in order to show these levels even, this would be even, this would be even, this would be even, this would be even. These three go here. These three go here. Do you see three and three offset? The other one, we need a card that runs adjacent to it. Adjacent, a jack, a connecting jack. So the nine is Pluto. These moons all work with each other. If you think these planets are out there and not doing anything, if you think the, the alternate world, okay, if you think the Anunnaki and everything you've ever read, okay, Look at it different. Look at everything different. Look at this. There is truth in it, but truth explained from a human point of view. When this place we live is thousands and hundreds of thousands of years old, and your mind, okay, is Lucy in the sky. Raphael, 7286. And I say from the bottom of my heart, because not because I believe it and I believe that I am right, but I started at zero. Ten years ago, I started with zero. Everything came alive. And I just want to say, um, Mickey D, Mike, Thank you for everything you've put into this. You're absolutely right on track. The, one of the, the, um, the things that we have to understand is money will not change what the moon is doing right now. Either A, it's being controlled by inside the planet, and if the moon is being controlled inside the planet, then whatever it's doing in rusting is because it's flushing. Have you ever seen them flush the drains and the pipes? They say, don't drink the water. Well, the moon is flushing. There's a chance that this entire system was developed only for us, and now the moon is being flushed. Raphael, 7286, and a constellation of Pegasus, remember, Mars and Earth, they both have angel residence, one and nine. Artificial intelligence, the two letters, the Mars and Earth, the fourth and the third planet, and the first and the fourth planet, equals to five and seven the moon, equals one and four Mars and Earth in low shoe. One and four, five, and Earth is three and four, seven. Um, we have to understand that there's nine planets, and these nine planets, okay, including the sun, they all have the letter U. If I take away the letter U from Pluto, Pluto is 84, it becomes 63 creation. If I take away the letter U from Jupiter, instead of 99, it becomes 78 the gateway. If I take away the letter U, in fact, Saturn, Uranus, and Venus all have the word sun inside of it. If I took 54 away from Venus, which is the word sun, 54, all I have is 27. Venus is now red, bloody red. If I take away 21 from Saturn or the sun, take away 27 from Saturn, 93, 83, 73, 66. Now take away 54 from Saturn, okay, and it becomes 39. Okay, listen to this. 39 and 54. 54, 64, 74, 84, 93, the number to Saturn. Saturn is 39, the sky, number 93, the sky and the sun, Saturn. If I take away... Okay, 54 from Uranus, and Uranus is a number count of, uh, of 94. If I take away 54, it becomes 40. That means Uranus runs the blue energy. Taking away 54 becomes 46, becomes Zion Israel, the gateway through Uranus. So everything is, is a relationship to how things are connected in numbers. Because we have to understand numbers in order to get the odds. We have to take money to make a bet to take a dollar and get the odds, right? The primary thing in odds is by taking one dollar. Two to one odds. Then sometimes you need to make two dollar bets. Nine to two odds. The birth comes in Venus. We need two. Nine and two. You need a minimum of two. If you're betting trifecta, exacta, whatever we're doing, always an association, number connected for the reality of the truth that's actually happening in this world that we just, hey, something went on special, right? It's on special. But what's on special today is numbers tell the truth. And we, in the near future, we'll see how everything will be corrected. So whatever seems to be going down, whatever looks down, right, just over the rainbow is beauty. Raphael, 7286, in a constellation of Pegasus. I'm going to show you somebody that just showed up in my drawer. What are you doing there, buddy? Eh, what are you doing there, buddy? Raphael, 7286, in a constellation of Pegasus.
Looking up at you. Look at those three Hebrew letters. Gimel, Aleph, Bet. 